Dear hashed followers, today's topic is what is new in the v17 library. The first thing what is new is the handle of the master copies. So in the past, if you track and drop in hierarchy, you see you get this one object in the library. In v17, if you copy your structure and do a right click, you see paste with hierarchy. So you, he paste the structure you have before selected. Um, to have an easier workflow, you have the possibility to press Ctrl and Shift during the track and drop and you have the same result. In the library, you have the possibility to add more columns. So if you do right click on the header, you see we have more columns. So I want to see them all. And we have filter functionalities. Like I want to see all the empty folders in my library. We see I have only the valve. The valve includes a second empty folder. So I don't need it. I delete it. Or I have the possibility to filter to all blocks and faceplate which are in work currently. And I have the possibility to delete them um, or not delete them. Um, I want to discharge this version because I don't need it. If we go back to have all the folders, you see um, if this addition in columns, when was the last change, which one was the author. So you see, for example, in this valve, my friend, the carbonizer, did the last change. So you have a better overview and more information inside of the library. This green rectangle displays you in status information. You see if it's green, all your types are consistent. If it's yellow, you have different inconsistencies, like uh, the default version is in the library is not in your project. This, for example, is the first yellow thing. If you open the tier settings and we go to the general tab and the library settings, you will see um, an explanation of the of the symbols. For example, it shows when the duplicates of a type in the a version exist. So you have the possibility to disable uh, this inconsistent, inconsistent state. So if you don't need it, you can disable it here in the setting. To show you how you can deal with the new library concept, I create first a new data type. I call it UDT tank. And this unity includes a two times valve. So I drag and drop it. And for example, the first one is the upper valve. The second one is the lower valve. And I want to add an additional value. For example, the fill level. And I put this new UDT to the types. So it's fine. So this is green, that's okay. And now I modify the UDT valve. So we know in the UDT tank it is two times there. And first one, what we do is we add a comment. I want to show you that this comment does not affect the dependency type of the tank. The first thing we see, okay, the face plates are in yellow. That's okay because we have changed the UDT of the interface. You see the default version is inconsistent. We, if we see, you see both of the face plates, um, the, the icon and the pop-up are in work. That's okay. But you see the UDT tank, which includes the valve, um, has not changed the version. So if you check the valve inside, you see my comment is added. So now we do an undo again. And a second undo. And one again. So now we are back. And I do the same. So I added my UDT valve again. But now I do not add a comment. I want to change the data structure. For example, I add a new tag. 
And if we now release this version, you see that the UDT tank will also go in the test mode. Because this was not only in comment, which does not uh, need a version adjustment, but changing the data uh, needs an adjustment. And we see the same, the faceplates are in work. So we have the possibility to say release all. And we are fine. So you see the tank. Um, if we open it again, you see the new tag here in the UDT valve. And you see the faceplate pop up. The one is closed, but not the valve. This is an, I would say it's a chicken egg issue because um, I have adapted the interface. So this is correct, but we have here a call, a pop-up call, and you see he he has also adapted to the new version, but he has not handled it both. So we have changed the interface, we have released the pop-up in the new version, but we need also adapt the pop-up here. So he does it automatic, but you need to do it two times for release. Now we see a second inconsistency. So if we check the status, you see it's the non-default version. So we have a different default version between the project and the library. You see the Facebook valve in the library is the number three. So if we go to the project, so I need to close the PLC and if we open the screen with the faceplates and we search the valve and click on it and okay need to do it a little bit bigger you see in my project at the moment is the version number two and i have the possibility for example i say okay i want to update the default type which is the number three to the project so he did it that's fine you see uh, the valve is green but you see also my pop-up is not green again and um, this pop-up is not called in the project so it's not part of the screen because i call it by a click but it is used in different versions you see it's not possible to delete it because it's still in the version number one if i delete both i have it is not used anymore and it is green so we do, do an undo because i want to show you if you want to switch back to an different default versions. So if we switch the valve icon to default number two, we know that the pop-up was the number one in this type and we need to switch the UDT because we use the UDT number one. And now if we try, for example, to update this folder to the project, it's not possible. We, you see there's an inconsistency. Um, we know, okay, our tank has also before used um, the valve number one and now, for example, we updated the version before that we used the valve number two with the UDT valve number one. We have still this um, inconsistency and a pop-up because we call the version number two in the version three of the valve. And if we lead, delete the number three, you see, okay, everything is fine. I use the default types from the library in my project. Now we want to go to the higher version, like the faceplate number three with the pop-up number two and the UDT valve number two and tank. So this is fine again, that you don't do step by step as before. You have the possibility, for example, to update the complete types and delete the unused type then you do a cleanup and you see everything is green everything is fine again so this is the second possibility is to do it in a general way if you already used v17 play around in the library to get a feeling how to deal with these inconsistencies and what i really like is that you 
don't need a highest type version for library actions. So we have the possibility to use a lower version as default version. See, okay, there's an inconsistency between a nudity and faceplate, which needs to be adapted and you can update the lower version, which is really nice. Last topic of this video, what happened if you add a second language in TI portal, for example, I add German to my project and now you see for example in this valve I have one text it's at the moment only in English available now I click on select all types and export the language and open it with Excel and modify it like the flow is in German Durchfluss and the speed is Geschwindigkeit. If I adapt the file, I save this file and import it. And what we see is um, you add the new language to the type with the correct translation, but you see it does not affect the version type number. And it is the same behavior if you remove in language. So I hope you enjoy this video and have learned what is new in the V17 library. See you!